Hey guys, welcome to this live event. I've been looking forward to this today. I kind of like decided it last minute because I was making this wonderful soup. And I said, you know what? I could do a live mukbang on the eve of Christmas Eve. So how is everybody doing? Hello, replay viewers. I am going to be leaving this live event up. Remember to like it, to share, and comment on the page, all right? If you're seeing this afterwards and, uh, you know, the chat's already gone because the live has ended, put a comment. Tell me what you're thinking, okay? Add to the conversation. So let's see if anybody joined us yet. Zero people has joined. You know what? I'm going to start eating because my soup is going to get cold. I got all kind of people over here trying to keep my tortilla warm. So how's your day going? How's your holiday season going on a whole? Are you that kind of person that get offended when people tell you happy holidays? I don't care. I don't care if they tell me Merry Christmas or happy holiday. As long as they say something nice, I'm good to go. All right, we have one faithful diehard person. Come on in, come on in. Go eat some chicken escabeche with me. And if you're from some other country that eats the escabeche but do it like fish, tell me how that is. Oh my goodness, my stuff is awful. The tortilla, the, the thing is stuck on the tortilla. So nobody's going to say nothing. Four people, nobody's saying nothing. You guys, I have to peel off the paper of the tortilla. Like I can't ask Joe to heat me up another one, right? Let's see if I get it off. No, it's not coming. Joe, mm -hmm. would you mind heating me up another tortilla, baby? <clears throat> this one ain't coming. <laughs> Look. The paper is stuck on the tortilla. Just one. Just one, darling. It is um, 45 calories for one. Hello. Okay. Jada just texted to say she's on her way home. Let's see if some people get the, um, the notification and come in. Let us see. And we want to talk some conversations today. Live at, I want to ask you guys something for people who watch and know about you. I just texted you, sis. <sighs> Anybody in the room, do you know how it is that some YouTubers can text people? Thank you. They can text people when they're going to go live because, you know, YouTube doesn't do a good job of letting people know when I'm live. So I've seen other YouTubers where they send out a text blast. How does that work? Is that something that I would have to um, sign up for and pay money and yada yada? Does anybody know? So this is onion, tortilla. The soup, of course, is made with vinegar, distilled white vinegar and chicken. So it's kind of like a chicken soup, but with the onion and the vinegar added to it. Mm-mm-mm. I think it took too big a bite. Joe didn't join us today. Why? Because me and him fight. <laughs> Let's start some shiznit over here. <laughs> Hi, Carla. We're going to let the viewers believe we fighting. Joe, is we fighting? You want to say something? <laughs> you said you want to say something? <laughs> Joe said, do what you need to do to get your views, girl. No, he wanted to enjoy his soup. Mm -mm -mm. So, let me put some of your stuff up here. He call it, darling. On the eating plan, we can have Six servings of grains for the day. This contour here is a grain. Okay. But the package say one piece is 45 calories, but one piece is a serving. Mm-mm-mm. How come you guys not talking? I know some of some of you watch me on your TV 
Some watch me on like the iPad and stuff, but say something. Oh my God. That is so good. So six servings of grain for the day and up to four servings of carb in every meal. I love this plan so much. Hey, Josh. Hey. Up to five serving a carb in every meal. So the way the plate look, right? <clears throat> it looks like a Mickey Mouse head. So see the plate right here? Let me show you guys. Cut the plate in half. That's supposed to be your unstarchy vegetable, your non-starchy vegetable. Cut the plate in quarter, your carb and your protein. They make your most ears up here. One's gonna have your fruit and one's gonna have your um your milk product, your dairy. I'm not getting a dairy in every meal. Because I can't find no lactose free. What do you think they yogurt? I wish I could find that. I'm not supposed to eat the wing, but I'm not gonna eat soup and not eat the wing. You want what bowl says? For you, it's free. Hey, Lillian, this is called escabeche. In some cultures, in call it escabeche. And they do it with fish, with doors, with chicken. Is that, is that here supposed to be on the garage? No. Okay. Jory probably forgot it. Or maybe he turned it on to go work out. Would you, would, can you ask him first? Yeah. Or it probably came on when it turned on the light. Hey, Julie, you made it. Joe already ate his Joe like, I would do a live with you, but I want to enjoy my soup. I'm like, okay, he wanted to slurp and stuff. Although that's good for a mukbang, right? So it's made, Um, who was asking? Betancourt, Lillian. It's made with chicken, onion, and vinegar. The onion actually adds a tad of sweet to the vinegar. Julie, did you try making this one yet? I kind of think you did. Um, Omeko King. There's a person named King that popped up in Joe's Ancestry DNA. But we don't know who the hell that is. We're not related to no king. I wish I was. Speak for yourself. I wish I was related to a real king. I know, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Seth, did you see this? Lillian says, in Puerto Rico, it's more like a salad with green bananas. Good to know, Lillian. Hmm. I know. Julie, it is that type of soup where you have to have a certain type of day. Yogurt is fermented dairy and almost all of the lactic acid is gone once it's made. Yeah, but it still hurts my belly, darling. I mean, it bloats me. Amico King, you related to we? To Joe, I should say. It hurts. I have to take like a day off when I have that pain. <coughs> burning my throat I can't see if you name Rudy what's that name on the bottom is it Rudy or Yudi Yudi hi Yudi watching from Belize how things they go down there <clears throat> Yudi I see that they were burying another minister the who, the who expire again I can't say certain word in YouTube <laughs> It does not exist anymore. It's cold right now, Julie. I tell you, <coughs> we went to ride the bike yesterday. It was hot. Yep, we had to turn on the air conditioning yesterday. It was so hot. Wake up this morning, the wind blow crazy. And when I tell you, it's cold, it cold. I'm like, what the hell? This, this weather is going like Trump and the stimulus package. <laughs> Oh my God. So let's talk the topic that I named the thing so they know so that we um 
we quick we click baited them okay and thumbs down my video <clears throat> so we're gonna talk about stingy people which i'll be honest with you i don't have no stingy people in my life guess why once i find out you stingy i get rid of you <laughs> Mm -mm. but i know some people i'm not going to call no name i'm not going to tell if they're even related to me or not <clears throat> or how i know them i'm very upset for them because then do everything to perfection on their jobs and their bosses decide to be stingy and didn't even give them coal for Christmas because at least the coal could cook something, <laughs> you know. Warm yourself, yeah. mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. A27 of. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. You're gonna drink up, you better not drive. Twenty seven have you know what that means in a for we in a for we culture? We're not gonna go there, that's for my only fans. <coughs> you guys remember to join my only fans. Mm-hmm. So somebody for Kylie Jenner reached out to me <clears throat> and wanted to buy ads on my page. What page I don't know. Instagram, Facebook, pick one. I wanted to be at, buy ads on my page for her new line. <clears throat> when I get in my price, they're like, no, thank you. We just want to do Instagram. How much is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I told them. $1,000. You're going to get a shout out in the cooking show in the first minute. The show is going to be seen on YouTube and Facebook. <clears throat> this is how many followers I have at both locations. I didn't combine it and go, oh, and all my things, I have 300,000 followers. No. I don't like when people do that. The whole family go on a diet and then they come, oh, between the whole family, we lost a thousand pounds. Yeah. And then you find out that one person lost five pounds and the rest lost it, right? <clears throat> no. Rain as usual in December. But let me don't bury him. Let me don't bury him. That's somebody else. Let me don't bury him, Yudi. Yeah, so. <clears throat> um, Joshua, what was I talking? Uh, something about those cheap Kardashians. Yeah, thank you, Josh. <laughs> thank you. Josh is a good um, co continuity person. Hey, Deb, how you feel today? So. Um, they said they only want Instagram. Well, you have to have a hundred thousand subscribers in order to get paid eight hundred dollars the Instagram fan day. Why are they even bugging you then? They have to have worked. Mm -hmm. Um I'm not doing nothing for free no more. Yeah. F that. Mm -mm. Me I'm gonna do stuff for you guys for free, but not them. And remember, I put out the word that right through the holidays I was going to be promoting business nobody else but my beliefs people come and ask on I'm promoting them when I didn't call right now and, and, and put my stuff on their vlog another black guy another black guy and I'm gonna shout them out Deb I have and I will
So then I had a meeting. Seth, remember that meeting I had on Zoom? Um, I understand it a little bit better, but there's still more than I need to know about it. Putting my videos on a different platform and they're going to set it up like, like a book or like a digital product to where all the videos, like if, for instance, it's the stuff with the, um, the stuff I made with Jello, they're going to put all that and then you could tap on the video and you could go right to the spot to find out exactly how to make the bottom part of the cake, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's really neat what they're offering me. And I would come in before they launch. So they would help me do everything and set it up and let's see how it would work, you know? Mm. Valencia, in Belize we call it chicken escabeche, but other cultures call it es escovich, and they make it with fish, they, and they call it like fish tea also, <clears throat> and this, let me tell you how you make it, plus I have the, the video up already, you put Valencia's comment up. Um, you leave the chicken white. Don't put any kind of coloring like paprika or ricotta on it. Wash it up with the vinegar or the lime or the lemon. Season it with salt and pepper. That's all. Salt and pepper. And put a little bit of oil in the pot. Brown the chicken as brown as it will go with not having paprika on it. <clears throat> brown the chicken. And then add a lot of water to make it cook for like 30 minutes because you want all that blood to cook out from near the bone and stuff. And then... Add the vinegar, the still white vinegar. I add, um, I think I did half a cup in this because it was a small pot. It's only enough for me, Joe and Jada, because the boys don't like this. And then slice up a whole bunch of onion and let it steam. And then you eat it with tortilla. Mm. You season it with more sauce, my patu to your taste. Yeah, so my friends, their bosses are being so stingy. Normally, Belize people will eat this with like 16 tortilla. They will eat this with cuataponga tortilla. That's like 15 or 16 tortilla. Not me. I, I can only do two. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what they call it, 27 now. Deb, I thought you guys got tested already. I was waiting to hear good news. Deb's husband works as a frontline worker. You guys pray for him that he comes back negative for the um. The, I saw this Mexican girl that's calling it the cabrona for the cabrona. <laughs> The funny thing is that's a bad word, but YouTube not gonna pick that up. Mm -hmm. I love onion. <clears throat> if you don't love onion, you're not gonna like the soup. So I guess for this meal. My vegetable is going to be the onion. My carb or grain is going to be the corn tortilla. And then the chicken is the um, protein. Then when I'm done, I have to eat that fruit. Mm -hmm. Deb is such a sweetheart. I don't know when Deb started to follow me, but Deb never comes with negativity. She's always with positivity. Tomorrow... You guys are going to be negative. We're going to speak that right now over Deb and her husband and her whole family. Negative. No cabrona. <laughs> Beauty, if you follow what I do, that thing going to be the bomb.com. Mm -hmm. Thank you for agreeing with me, Valencia. This is what Valencia spoke, a blessing over Deb. Receive it, Deb. Receive it. 
<clears throat> this soup is good though. Jada taught me how to make this soup. Because sometimes I wouldn't put the right amount of vinegar. It would be a little bit meh. Sometimes it's too overpowering, right? So Jada was the one I say, Ma, when you put the vinegar in, put the salt and pepper first, taste it, and then wait before you put more or less vinegar because the onion will change the taste of the soup. Put the onion, let it steep taste it. So now I have it measured. Thank you, sir. She said the same thing I just said. We received that blessing, Deb. We received that blessing. So, come back to the Kylie thing. They want me to open the, um, we'll call it in the catalog so I could pick five items or the catalog. I think they would rather just pay me with the items. I don't want that. Mm -mm. Joshua, we couldn't get the thing open. We got the catalog downloaded, but couldn't open it. Jory helped me on every computer I, I own. So I wrote them back and tell them I can't open it. Hmm? Huh? The catalog is not compatible with Mac. So I went on my desktop. Jory helped me and it wouldn't open. I went on Daddy's laptop, it wouldn't open. Mm -hmm. So, all in one on the Instagram post. Thank you, Deb. It's true. I'm chewing the gristle. Okay, let's get back to stingy people. When my mom was alive, <clears throat> she followed all these stars before there was a Twitter. She followed them in the Inquirer. And she was really good at discerning which story was life and which was true or which one had half truths or whatever. And I would say, oh, I can't stand the person. And she would say, I don't like them either, but you know what? They're kind. They give away a lot of what they make. And that kind of, um, kind of cancels out a lot of things. So, I think the nicest actor out there is um, Keanu Reeves. He's generous. He's humble. He cares. He would ride the train in New York, give up his seat. People know him. They don't even bother him. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking up the chicken breast. So... I don't like what happened to my two friends when their bosses treat them like short and not even give them a, a, a little Christmas bonus. Mm -hmm. For real though, Julie, she was, my mom was always kind. My mom would always give. She knew how to receive very humbly. But like if I give her a brand new purse right now, she would come back to me and go, this old purse, and it's not really old, three months old. Do you mind if I give this to so-and-so in Belize? I'm like, I already gave that to you the way I want with it. I don't track the stuff. <clears throat> no. No, if it's something that had meaning, like I made it especially for her, her name's on it. Yeah, yeah, that's a different thing. But if I just gave her a purse, I gave her a shirt, whatever, a shoe, and she wanted to give that away, give that away. That's your thing to do with what you please. If giving it away makes you more happy, do it. You know? Well, these people that I'm talking about, Julie, they would always get a very generous Christmas bonus from their bosses. Well, one of them did. The other one always got a small bonus. But they were so rude about it this year. 
And it's not like the bosses made any less. They're rich. They were rich to start with. You know what Jada was telling me today? Jada said if Jeff Bezos, the one from Amazon, were to give away $1 billion to everybody on the face of the earth. Now, I only know how many people they in America and how many people are in Belize. I don't really know the population of other countries, right? Jada says on the entire earth, there's only like 7 or 8 billion people, give or take. And he says he could give away a billion to every earthly person on the earth, baby and all. And he would still be left with like $100 billion. What the hell? The hell? Mm -mm. So, having said that, I don't feel like rich people have to do that because that's socialism, right? But I feel like if you're rich, you can at least help a few people. You know, in the Bible, the rich um, ranch keepers were told to leave the four corners of their ranch. Don't pick the fruit from there because the poor can go by and pick it from there. And most people, they just leave a leapy so for the poor and they have the bulk of it. But there was one guy in there where he left big pieces and only had a small section and God multiplied him. So I always ask people, how big are your corners? How big? Because even from the little bit that I don't have, I've made sure that I've reached out to bless a few people because some people have blessed me. You know, that's why I say I don't know stingy people. <clears throat> I don't know them. My viewers are not stingy. My diehard, my core, people who haven't even watched in a while but came back and watched the anniversary video, they send money to the P.O. box. Some of it is not big, five, ten dollars, but it's big to me. That's trying to put money together to do things. You know what I mean? Amilcar, are you Belizean? If not, what kind of Rihanna do, do you guys make? <clears throat> My soup is getting cold, but it's almost done. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't count people money and I don't watch other people pocket. But if I had money, oh my god, I have a list of people right off the bat. That would be best. <clears throat> And I don't want to say the names because there would be no particular order. And that person might feel like, why didn't I get named first? But I have a few people that would get blessed right away. Get a house, get your house paid off. What would you desire if you were to come into some money right now? Mm. Then you do for we good, Reno. <clears throat> Let's say... Well, you were Brenda's neighbor. Oh, hi. Brenda probably doing her TikTok. That's why she's not in here. Or making cookies. You know what I might do after this? Like, I don't have enough video for edit. I might go into my um archives <clears throat> and find a couple of sweet treat videos, cookies, whatever, and just put it together as a collage. Put it up for tomorrow. I better hurry for I lose the good sunlight. Because I'm going to need to record a narration. Mm -mm -mm. So what would you guys do if you were to come into a million dollars? I get that. Me personally, I would pay off for my house and I would fix it up the way that I've dreamed. I wouldn't move from here. I love my house. I love my neighborhood. I love my yard. You know, I like the bloody winds, but. Bye, Julie. I'm almost done with my soup.
my brother called today to talk about me and Joe being kissing, kissing cousins. You buy your dream house? That's cool. I would make this house into my dream house. I would put vaulted ceilings. I would ex expand the kitchen and make it look like a modern kitchen. But I don't want the, um, like, the, what you call the thing, the Korean and the... Joe, what you call the other countertop? Joe, mm. what do you call the top name? Granite and stuff like that? Granite. Right. I don't want that stuff to, to be busy. I want it to be like plain white or something like that, right? <clears throat> I would add another room here to make a den. I would make my bedroom bigger. I would put a um, jacuzzi in the backyard, a gazebo. I don't want no pool. Even though we have a pool-sized backyard, I don't want no pool. But a nice jacuzzi with a gazebo and a lot of plants and shrubbery. Oh, Lord. This would... Hi, hi, Brenda, darling. Maritza have the land. She just need the money to build. I get it, Maritza. Hi, Brenda, darling. We're talking about... We already talked about stingy people. And I already said I don't know none. Because I only keep generous people in my life. Stingy people got to go. They got to go. <laughs> By the way, it's so freaking cold under this table that I'm covered with this. Mommy made this for me before she passed. I'm being hugged by mommy. It stays cool. I mean, I don't mind the material, 27 hours, but I just don't like the business of it. The brung and the glitter and the... Ooh, I want it plain white. Mm -hmm. I gotta show off mommy's thing here. I found a little dress to wear today. Let me see if I could stand up and show her. Joe, are you gonna come talk for a little bit, babe? Joe, mm -hmm. I remember you saying to me I'll come talk a little bit towards the end. Are you still coming? Did you, you don't have to. But I, I didn't want you to miss your opportunity and then say that I left you high and dry. Show, see the lead dress? I found this little dress from Jada. She she didn't like it because of this the way it's set, but I put on something underneath it. So I'm doing my eating plan. Oh, look my hair. I look red and fire red about them. What the hell did go on? I didn't even go in no pool. I'm going to sit on my legs because it's hurting. But it's so cool. Right, Maritza? And I don't have to hate them, but they can't stay. You stingy? Bye. And you're saying, like, if I get a colorful one, 27 out, just get a piece to put there. Speaking of Home Depot, Joe went to Home Depot and gave one of our little Belizean friends a cake today. Oh, thank you, Lillian, darling. You guys know I'm on this eating plan. It's not a diet. It's an eating plan, and it's something that I have to stay on for the rest of my life because if I don't stay on it, I'm just going to gain back all the weight that I lose. You know, it's easy to lose weight. It's hard to keep it off, and um, <clears throat> I don't want that to happen anymore. I want to just lose this weight once and for all. I don't want to hit 55 in August, and I'm still um, – they call what I am morbidly obese even though I'm 185. Once upon a time um, – Elizabeth Taylor was 185 and they said she was morbidly obese. So they still call it that. But nowadays people call 185 fluffy, right? Hi, Padraig. You have Richard last name. Richard, are you, Richard, is that you? Are you in your, um, what do you call it thing? Are you in your troll name? Richie. Yeah, I wasn't even going to get out of my pajamas today because it was so cold. But then I remember I had that Zoom meeting with those people. I forget the name of the company already, too. But it was a, it was a really good meeting. I, I feel like we'll go somewhere with this company. And if I can ever get Kylie's, um, what the hell the thing name, open, her catalog, then maybe I'll do something with Kylie Jenner. But I'm not doing it for free. They better pay me. <clears throat> so um i don't know if it's richie but they have richard last name <laughs> maybe richie didn't want me to say 
You don't have to answer. You don't have to answer. <laughs> so now I'm full because I had all that soup. Maritza, you tried the black cake recipe and it came out so good. I'm telling you, whenever I put a recipe out there, I'm not going to tell you that I'm the best cook. In this program thing that they're doing right now, they're calling me Chef Barbara. I don't like chef in front of my name because I'm not a chef. I didn't go to school for it. I didn't put in the time that other people have put in to become a chef. So I'm very respectful of that, right? But anytime I give a recipe out here, it's because I've already tried it, mess it up, come back, fix it, flip it, reverse it, pitch it in the trash. I've already done so many things to it. You know what I mean? So this cake recipe, we got this thing down pat. The cake is dense enough to receive the fruits. It's dense enough to receive the whole bottle of the burnt sugar. Don't skimp on that burnt sugar because if you do, your cake going to come out brown. Then it, you can't officially call it black cake. You have to call it brown cake. Okay? So um, the fruits and stuff, you don't have to soak it. If you want to soak it, you're going to have to shake it in a lot of flour. It's going to get clumpy. And then you have to mind you're not adding back flour into the batter. And then your cake come out dry, 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 dry. Okay. Shut up, Joel. <laughs> Shut up, Joel. <laughs> We're not going to repeat what Joel said. Cause this is a, um, what you call it? PG show. This is a PG show. Look at my bracelet. I was cleaning things around in my room because I'm trying to find a spot in there to put my cameras because all the cameras sit here on the table. And um, <clears throat> I found this bracelet for money. And can I just tell you guys, I am really hoping against hope that my three churns, my three churns put together and buy me the camera of my dreams. I hope they bought it on Black Friday and they're hiding it from me. Come on. <laughs> it's nice to have dreams. Seth, shut up. <laughs> it's good without the fruits too, um, uh, B. It's awesome without the fruits. It's, it's also good without alcohol. You don't really even need the alcohol. Like this one lady that she's Muslim now. She became Muslim in her 20s. She... um. She said, I can't do it because I can't put the rum. I'm like, I don't put no vanilla extract in there. I put lemon extract and you could wet the thing up with grape juice. And she says, says I can't put what you said by the screen. <laughs> I love doing the live mukbangs because I love the interaction with you guys. It's fun. It's fun. And shout out to anybody who missed it. If, if one of my diehards missed it, shout out to you. Carla was in here, right? Oh, Beta Valencia, you see how you laugh out at me? Ooh. What kind of berry wine? Like homemade? Oh my God. Says, can you imagine what that would taste like? Put berry wine on top of the black cake? Isn't berry wine the one that gets you drunk like next week? You're still drunk? Oh, it's rice wine. You drink it today and you're drunk and you get better tomorrow and by next week you're drunk again on the same drink. I know that he has to go fix the back fence when the wind stop blow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have that. I have the Manischewitz. Joe bought some yesterday. Oh, that cake is. I'm gonna eat a piece of that cake Christmas. I had peace. Well, I didn't have peace for my um my anniversary because I had the muffin. So whatever piece I've tasted is like the crumbs that drop from the thing when Joe cut a piece or something. So I'm going to have piece for Christmas and then I'm going to have piece of Jada lemon cake. Well, no, I can't have the black cake for Christmas because I want chocolate cake. Oh crap. I got problems. I got problems. I mean, they don't, they don't beat you if you cheat on the diet, but if you cheat, you're not going to lose no weight. And again, it's not a diet. It's an eating plan. You eat, you eat that plate, like I tell you, set up the plate and eat it three times a day. And if you need snacks, you could have snacks in between, but I have not needed any snacks. I eat my breakfast. So far, my breakfast honestly has been one egg over easy, one slice of bacon and one piece of dry bread, no butter. And I've gotten used to the dry bread. Now the bacon done. So all I have is the egg 
and the dry bread. So I'm going to have to figure some vegetables to go in that plate. And then that would be a perfect breakfast. They said a perfect breakfast on this plan. Are you guys ready for it? A perfect uh, breakfast on the plan is actually a piece of the whole grain bread with two tablespoons of peanut butter. Not one, two. Two whole tablespoons of peanut butter on a piece of that bread. And they do coffee. I don't drink coffee or tea, so that doesn't go for me. And they said that's actually a perfect breakfast. And then for lunch, I do the protein, the carb, the veggies, and I do a fruit. I don't do the milk. I only do the milk at night, the dairy. And the dairy can be sour cream and, and milk and yogurt and stuff like that. You know, and she, I think, does the cheese count as a dairy? The cheese count as a protein on this. Beans, like black beans, that count, and pinto beans, that counts as a protein. And I think red kidney beans has more carbohydrate than, than those other beans. But I like all those beans. I've never met a bean that I don't love. They say the peanut butter is a good uh, form of protein on this plan. I'm doing the plan and I'm doing Vlogmas at Bear Pantry Top. But when Vlogmas is done, it's going to be all about this plan. And, you know, a day in the life. What am I eating? What's the next meal that I cook? What this? What that? It's not just going to be so much about the progress and the weight loss. It's going to be about what am I eating? I like black beans too. I, I like all beans. I like peas. I like beans. The only one that I don't care for too much is black eyed peas, but I'll eat that in rice and beans. I won't eat it just like that. Like how you say, um, black Americans eat just black eyed peas for, for New Year. Uh -uh. I might can't eat the black cake until New Year's because uh, for Christmas, I want to have a piece of chocolate cake that we're going to make and I'm going to eat a good piece of it too. And then for um, uh, Jada's birthday, I'm going to have lemon cake. Her birthday is two days after Christmas. Thanks to everybody who's been sending money for Jada for her birthday. Even if you sent $5, I've put it in a pan. You know, I got these little cookie pans from Louise. And they, I have some little bitty ones like that. I've rolled it up and put it in a pan and put from so-and-so, from this one, from that one. So she has, where's she at? She has one box. When she opens the one box, there's going to be a lot of little things in there with money. It's going to be a money thing for her. I can eat those two, 27 and a half. I don't hate them. I, I used to think that I would hate them, but I've been to enough Mexican parties that that's what they serve you. And child, I will eat bowl after bowl. So I guess I like it. Or maybe they just cook it. Or maybe they put a lot of lard in it. You know what I mean? We still don't know anything about the guy next door, the old man. We don't know if he expired or not. But his car is parked there and it's not been moved. And we haven't seen or heard him. And so Joe's waiting to see the son one day to ask if he's on vacation. Or if he's on permanent vacation. You know, we don't know what happened, but we think something happened. You know? You guys like my backdrop for the thing today? This is a place in Placencia. Los Porticos, I think, is the name of it. See, this is a nice kitchen, but I don't like all in dark cabinet. I don't like that splashes in the counter. I want it to be, like, white. I like everything white or black. If I didn't have a black dog, I would have a white dog. <laughs> <clears throat> so we covered the topic of stingy people, right? So nobody could come and thumbs me down and go, oh, she did clickbait. The stingy people, I'm upset for a few of my friends that didn't get bonuses this year. And it's not that the people could not afford the bonus because they've been rich. They got richer in the pandemic because they get PPP, LMNOP, all kind of P they get but they still don't want to give the people anything. And I really got upset for my friends because they deserve it. They work hard on the job and they really care about the people that they're in charge of. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I, it really upset me for them. And then this foolishness about, oh, I don't want to give the people 600. I want to give them 2000. If he really wanted to do that, he could have been in a negotiation and set that up from day one. He's just saying that now because they want to win Georgia. Come through, Georgia. Please come through for us because we need money. I don't care about, oh, we go mortgage, mortgage the kids' future. America's supposed to be the richest country in the world, right? I don't really think we are anymore. Right, Marissa? No, I don't like white furniture and white carpet and stuff like that, but I do like a white counter and I like white cabinets. But the white cabinets take a beating in here because everybody touched the wood and not touched the knobs and they put Ricardo on the thing and then it can't come out. It's in the paint forever and ever. You can't rub it out at all. You know? 
No, I'm talking about us. I'm talking about us, sis. I know they're not going to win. We're going to win Georgia. We're going to have fitty fitty. And then all we have to do is um, tape up um, Joe Manchin mouth. Dali Bali didn't know how to be a traitor. Man, he's supposed to be a Democrat. He know how to be a traitor. Jesus. You know, they said Democrats have to fall in love and Republicans fall in line. Democrats need to learn how to fall in line. Let me see what Maritza say. She said, this is the time internet businesses makes the most money and they do not give the employees bonus. Mm -hmm. It's for real though. You know, I applied for every grant that came my way. Beyonce's grant, Facebook grant, small business grant, you name it. Barbara applied for it because you got to put in time to apply for it. So you're not just dropping your lap. And I don't, get, I don't ever get short, okay? Right, 27 half, they need, and they are, I feel like they're going back out to vote. And I don't feel like anybody's sitting at home not voting. Yeah, he don't want to give me no $2,000. And all he's doing right now, because he lobbed that cocktail at them, all he's doing now is just delaying the little bit of peanuts that was going to come for some people, not everybody. Jada wants to like murder us in this house because she never gets any of that money because we claim for her. This is the last year. 2019 was the last year I could claim for her when she does her taxes for 2020. Well, for 2020, and she's going to do it in 2021, like around March, February or March, we won't be claiming for her anymore. So she'll be independent on her own and, and can reap some of this money. But for right now, they're supposed to give us her money, but they don't because she's above 17. A lot of people are in that bind. You know, so Jada gets real angry when she don't get none of the money. Yeah, they're being petty. When that one uh, senator said, we're going to be leveraging our kids' future if we give them any more than $600. I mean, Jesus, the cost of a slave back in the day was $1,200. That's what they gave us the first time around. No, they want to uh, pay us half price half for half of a slave? What the hell? Yeah, he don't, he don't really want to give us no $2,000, but then his people that follow him, his diehards, are going to believe that he does. And he doesn't. Because if he did, he would have been in the negotiations. You know what I mean? And it's like a lot of people need to move. We are, I always tell my family, we're like cockroaches. We're not like the dinosaur. The dinosaur could not adapt, so they became extinct. Cockroaches know how to adapt, so they be, they, they're still with us. And that's how I view myself, like a cockroach. I know how to adapt, and I'm going to make it. We've been making it since what? April, when they gave us the first stimulus, we've been, we've been doing, we've been doing it. Sometimes we have to eat poor man meat like this, onion and chicken. But guess what? I fall. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I really want to do, though, guys, some people have donated for the anniversary. And Joe says, Babs, you know, I don't have anything that I need. See how much money you get in. And then pay to get rid of this right here. You see this thing up here? I said, powered by StreamYard. I don't know if you guys can see it. Joe says, get rid of that because it's not just about getting rid of that and putting my logo. It's about the fact that I would be able to broadcast on four different platforms at the same time. So this broadcast that's going over YouTube right now, I'd be able to also put it on my second YouTube, Bear Pantry Talk. I'd be also, uh, I would be able to put it on uh, Facebook, my page, and I'd be able to put it on Instagram. You know, Periscope is, is dying off, so I don't know about Periscope. I was going to activate back my Periscope, but I heard that Twitter is going to get rid of Periscope. I don't know how true it is, allegedly. You know, so I'd be able to broadcast a lot of different places, and I wouldn't be limited to only 20 hours a month. I only have 20 hours a month to use. I don't know how much I use up this month already. But if we keep doing these one-hour things, like this is going to eat up pretty fast, right? So, But it costs $20 a month for StreamYard, for the paid version. And um, they don't want you to pay it at $20 a month. They want you to pay for the whole year. So it's like $240 up front. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to do. Does anybody want to come on camera with me? Before we wind it down in the next 15 minutes, does anybody want to come on camera with me? I'm always going to ask you guys that. So always make sure you're dressed. Have on your wig. You know, put on your makeup. Put on a good shirt. Don't be showing nothing ain't, little kids ain't supposed to see. Put them things away. That's for your only fans, okay? But if you want to come in and say hi, come on in. And I want to do more of these. 
I hope that you guys are going to be accepting of these because I want to do more of these. I enjoy doing them. I really do. Um, they're, I don't have to edit them. You know what I mean? I don't have to, um, what else? I don't have to upload them. Now, if I wanted to put this on Facebook, Jory would have to download this for me. And then I would have to, I think I would have to save it again and then upload it to Facebook because Facebook does not allow you to leave live events up and monetize them. You can leave your live events up. You just can't monetize a live event. You have to download it and then re-upload it. Okay, going once, going twice, going thrice. Nobody wants to come on with me. If you want to do it, tell me and I'll drop the link. We might have topics we can talk about too, and you could call in and give your opinion, or you could come right on the screen and give your opinion. I, I really need to know what these YouTubers do when they send out a text blast to 6,000 people. And those people come in these people live events. I watch this guy. He has 97,000 followers. He sends out a, a text blast every time he's going to go live. And at least 3,000 people come in. And when they come in, they all donate $8.88. I was like, damn, some people are so blessed. But I'm not even worried about that part. I just like more people to come in so we could talk. But I'm I'm really grateful for the 20 of you that came in. And if you're driving while listening to me, I hope that I've been entertaining and, and kept you safe, kept your eyes on the road. And if you're watching me on your iPad or your TV, next time consider coming in the live just to say hi. Or you know what you can do? The people who are on the TV or on the iPad and you can't comment, go ahead and leave me a comment after the pic after the video populates on the page. Come in and go, hey, Barbara, keep doing what you're doing. Somebody wrote me a lovely, a lovely anniversary email right after the last video. Made me cry tears, but not tears of sadness. And she said, you're doing a great job. Never give up. I so enjoy you. You know, I was like, wow. That helps me because when you, like it took me days to edit that Ron Popo video. And people were anticipating it. And still it didn't get very, it got very little views in the first um, two, three hours. You know, and when it gets that little bit of views, YouTube won't show it around town. But you see other people run popo videos get a lot of views. People are more faithful to who they want to be faithful to. Right. So we're going to have to we, we're going to have to adapt. I'm not going to tell you that I'm not going to put up another tutorial, another cooking video, because as I speak right here, I'm thinking of going to grab a few tutorials off of my archives and put them together and do narration in between. But um, I'm not going to be cooking from now till at least the New Year's start. I'm just going to do lives. I'm just going to be doing lives. We might just sit down and talk. Sometimes I might be eating carrot sticks. We're just going to do live events. They get in the algorithm. They make some money. Like this live event right now, within 24 hours, I can make $10 off of it. I don't make that off of my cooking videos. I really don't make a book. 50 cents, you know, stuff like that. It's like, no, I got to do what I got to do so that we can stay alive. If I were still in my printing business, I would have had to change over my, my machines to making sleeves and not print. And I couldn't adapt because I didn't have the money. So my business failed after 15 years, even in the recession of 2008, my business did not fail because we have just us and we made do and the kids worked for free and, you know, and all that good stuff. But we couldn't adapt anymore, and so it crumbled. But, you know, we don't regret it. Having the business for 15 years brought me and Joe closer together. It And, and it's not like we were even far apart, but when he's out there working 10, 12 hours for the man, and I'm at home with the kids, we lose 10, 12 hours with each other, right? But when we were at the shop, we were there together all the time. And I feel like it made our marriage that much stronger. And then the kids learn good work ethic. My kids can drop into any job right now and they can do the job. If it's a warehouse job, they know what to do. They know how to stack pallets. They know how to drive the forklift. Well, Jada knows better than the boys how to drive the forklift. They know um, the Kalosha rules. They know all that stuff already because they've been there, done that. When we opened that business, Jada was five years old in kindergarten. Jory was nine and Joshua was 11. And we, when we closed the business, uh, that was how long ago now? Uh, three years ago. Jada was like 20, 21, 22. So Jory was what, 24, 25. Joshua was almost 30. 
we we had a good long run we don't regret it we don't cry about it we said god gave it to us for that time it's done and we've moved on now it left us in debt but if I had run out on my lease, it would have been a $30,000 debt that I would have been sued for. And if I stayed at the lease the last year, I would be nine to $10,000 in debt. So I chose the lesser one. So any money that I get from this government, I'm going to try to pay off that credit card. Try to pay off these debts, child. I'm only speaking live. You know what I mean? I buy all my own cameras. And um, this lights, the lights came from Porsche. Um, I have my diehards that give all the time. Brenda, Sandra says, um, some people give in other ways. Some people give in other ways. Some people can't give money. They give in other ways. And I appreciate that. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> oh my God, Kathy. <laughs> oh, you know, we had, um, we had a, um, when, when I had the class on what's today, Wednesday, Monday, I think was when I had my class with Kaiser. And the teachers said, do not go to Kaiser. If anything's wrong with you, call the doctor, let them diagnose you over the phone because they had a, an influx of the, the you know what, and that they had no beds and that the hospitals were overwhelmed. And we don't know what the hell happened in San Bernardino County. I can tell you what happened. These stupid ass people are going to see people, you know? Hey, Kathy White, my love. So. You guys know me. I don't drink and eat because it messes with your digestion and I have to aid digestion. Oh, says I got the papaya enzyme. Finally, the GNC got it in. You know, I wanted to bite from my lady over there. So I got it. It's like, yes, I'm doing a lot better. Brenda, clear your calendar this evening because I want to call you this evening. When I'm done with this live event, I'm going to like clean up first and then take a little rest. Well, I'm going to go look for stuff on my hard drive. I'll be honest with you. This is my little command center. I'm going to try to see if I can get a longer wire that leads from the back of the computer to the camera. If I could get this wire is probably 25 foot. Maybe I need like a hundred footer. And then I could take the camera into the kitchen and we could do a live cooking show. I could turn the monitor around so I can see what y'all are saying, or I could log on to another computer, see what y'all are saying. And we could do a live cooking show. I don't know. I, I mean, I could do it on my phone because StreamYard has it now where I could go live on my phone. But um, I just feel like the camera has a better quality, you know? Plus being that the um, it's into the computer, then it has a better connection for the internet. Well, guys, it's been an hour and we want to do this some more and I only have 20 hours. So if you have it within means and you want to donate for Barbara to buy StreamYard finally, donate and I'll put all the money together. And when I get the 240, I'm going to pay for StreamYard up front one year. That way we can stream all the time. If we can't do it, we're going to make do. All right. If we have to do it from Jada's account, oh, well, we're going to do it from Jada's account. <laughs> I love you guys for coming in. Joe didn't come and sit with us today, but he'll come next time. He said he was going to come when I was done eating because he ate before me, but he's relaxed watching his Westerns. So, oh, Jada's learning a new song. They killed your mom. Kaiser used to do that a lot. They probably still do because they only have arbitration. So there's only so much money you can get out of them, you know, but I go there informed. I don't go there dumb. The um, Jada's learning a new song. I can tell you guys the name. It's called Who I Am by Lord Laro. You guys could look it up. It's a beautiful song. And all this ancestry DNA stuff got to her. And she's like, I'm going to learn this song once and for all, mom, because I know you like this song. So she's learning a new song. She's Jada's going to start doing some quick live events from her phone through StreamYard at her own page, where she's just going to do like one song and get off just to have content every day at her page. She needs to build out her YouTube page so that when her bosses come back, her boss and the team comes back in April, that's when they're saying they're looking to come back April. They're hoping the Ronas are on the control by then. Then she can have a following. You know what I mean? Then she'll also do her concerts, her 40 minute concerts. So she'll be doing those. Yeah. Yeah. Kaiser only have arbitration. Kaiser says it in their thing. When you join the membership, Kaiser's a membership. And when you join, they tell you, give up all rights to sue us. If we kill you, 
We have arbitration. We're going to settle it some way, somehow. And you better be happy with what we give you. It says there, you know, it's not even in the fine print. When Kaiser was giving me medication that didn't agree with me, and I kept telling them that I had this deficiency, the blood deficiency that I have, the, the enzyme deficiency, they didn't believe that I had the deficiency because they did not diagnose me with it. I got diagnosed when I was 18, when I slipped into uh, succinylcholine-induced apnea due to having pseudocholinesterase deficiency, and they did not know I had it. I didn't know I had it. And the doctors at County General discovered I had it, gave me a thing and told me to wear a bracelet. And I did everything they said. Kaiser did not believe me. And they kept writing script after script after script from, um, what do you call it? Um, what's the type of drugs that they would give me? What kind of drugs? I'm, I'm going to think about it. It's like atropine, belladonna, dicyclamine, stuff like that. They would give me those drugs for because I always have a stomach ache. And um, they were killing me. My face would go into Bell's palsy. I look like I have a stroke. I mean, they put me through it. They gave me the scopolamine patch for the dizzy spells because the dizzy spells is um, anticholinergics. The drugs are called anticholinergics. And they give me the scopolamine patch and my face was like, I'm like, what the hell's causing every time I put this patch, right? And so then when I realized that they were giving me these drugs I shouldn't have, I, I pretty much told them that I was going to sue, Miss Sue from Alabama. And so they pulled me into a meeting with the arbitrators and I didn't want their money. I just wanted them to take better care of me. Just learn what I, so they tested me. They tested the children. It was only the two boys at the time. And they came up pretty low with the numbers, but they're not deficient. And then when I was pregnant with Jada, I had two doctors. I probably do. Would, would nurse, I probably do. They, they, they haven't tested me for it, but I probably do. And, um, when I was pregnant with Jada, they gave me a perinatologist and an OBGYN. And the perinatologist was there for Jada and the OBGYN was there for me. And they were so scared. They wanted me to stop being pregnant. I, and the, I took out my gallbladder and a lot of the things I can eat, I don't get the pain there, but I have trouble digesting things that are high in fiber. So it's not just like grains, it's fruits, veg like broccoli, peanuts, um, oatmeal. I have a lot of trouble digesting those things. They take days to go through me and they cause a lot of cramping and pain. So pretty soon they're probably going to have to diagnose with something. But right now they're like, don't come in here. They have a standing order for um, a referral for me to see the dietitian, But I can't go because the Ronas is spreading over there. But we'll, we'll do it. I start to puree my food like baby food now. <laughs> Yeah, but after that, my doctor and me, we got along well. He's retired now, but he was a sweetheart. He's like, I didn't know you had that. I was like, yeah, I don't lie. Anyways, guys, let's end this one so we can live to do this again. I'm going to do another. If I do another live event, it's probably not going to be from the good camera, and I'm not going to leave it. It's just going to be for us to chill and talk foolishness. But the next good live event that I'll do like this is going to be on Christmas Day. Joshua says we're going to have our Christmas lunch you know, together on camera. It's going to be Chinese food. It's going to be the bomb.com. You're going to want to be there. It's probably going to be close to noon or one o'clock on Christmas day. I mean, if you have time to spend with your family, please spend time with your family. Don't worry about Barbara and her stupid live event. Okay. Don't do that. You spend time with your family. They're important. They're more important than me. So what I'm telling you is if you are lonely and you're, you know, by yourself, cause you could be lonely and be in a family right? But if you're lonely, if you're by yourself, just know that Barbara and Josh, it's probably going to be me and Josh, are going to come on like around one o'clock my time, California time. We're going to be eating our little Chinese food that we make. Joshua's not going to eat his cake on camera because he want to enjoy his cake. And we're just going to talk and, and have fun. We're going to do another one on Christmas day. I might be doing a live at Babs Bear Talk at my little less known YouTube page. And I might be doing it from StreamYard on the phone because I don't want to be stuck here in this little spot. And we're going to play Christmas music and dance and do all kind of foolishness. I'm thinking I might do that uh, Christmas Eve, like at nighttime, like around <clears throat> nine, you guys time, if you're on the East Coast, which is six my time. I'm thinking we might do that if we could get it to work on the phone. Jada thought it was working on the phone today. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Just to party. I, I, I want to be a source of joy for you guys, especially if you're lonely and missing people. I don't miss nobody. I miss nobody. Nobody miss me. I don't miss nobody except for Shanika because she would have come with the boys and would have played the ball game. Hi, Shanika. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're going to make our own Chinese food. Jada's going to do Southwestern egg rolls, not regular Chinese egg rolls. And we're going to do chicken, uh, sweet and sour chicken, uh, orange chicken. And we're going to try to do the noodles. It might not come out perfect, but we're going to try. Joe's going to have stew beans, white rice, pig tail, and fried fish. That's what Joe having for Christmas. Joe say, ain't nobody coming here. I'm going to have my good Christmas. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay safe, okay? Wear your mask. Stay away from people. And don't forget to wash your hands and don't touch your face. I love you guys. Ending broadcast now. I'll put links and stuff in this video when we're done. So if you guys want to donate, you can, okay?